Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL, unveils a major upgrade for the Indian Navy's MiG-29 KKUB fighter jets, featuring a state-of-the-art glass cockpit. The enhancement includes improved navigation guidance, advanced air-to-ground combat capability with laser-guided bombs, enhanced situational awareness through a 6 inches by 8 smart multifunction display, and a dedicated data and video recording system. The upgrade accommodates future growth potential, ensuring the MiG-29 KKUB remains a potent and versatile fighter jet for the Indian Navy, bolstering operational capabilities across multiple domains. India's first dry cavalry engine, expected by mid-2024 due to slight production delays, will boost indigenous aero engine development and enhance Gotik UCAV capabilities. Integration into Gotik is now delayed, pushing the project deadline to 2026. HAL and New Space Research and Technologies collaborate to transform the Kiran MK2 trainer into the CATS OMCA, optically manned combat aircraft. Operating in the UHF band, the UHF data link provides over 100 kilometers range in telemetry only mode and over 10 kilometers in telemetry and video mode. Boasting impressive data rates, the system ensures secure communication through anti-jamming features, direct sequence spread spectrum, and AES-256 encryption. The UHF data link unit forms the core of CATS OMCA's communication, facilitating real-time mission control and operational effectiveness. Poland's Advanced Protection Systems APS, introduces Sky Control, an anti-drone system, to India, claiming enhanced security against low-flying drones and paragliders. Sky Control offers rapid deployment, high-altitude operation, low-flying detection, and multi-target tracking. It can improve counter-terrorism efforts, enhance border security, protect critical infrastructure, and reduce risks to civilians. India is evaluating the system, and potential collaboration with APS could lead to local production, significantly bolstering India's security capabilities. Rolls-Royce unveils a concept for a micronuclear reactor intended for the moon, backed by a 2.9 million pounds contract from the UK Space Agency. The reactor aims to provide a reliable power source for lunar colonies, with a projected launch in the early 2030s. Microreactors, generating less than 50 megawatts, offer a scalable energy solution for long-term lunar settlements, outperforming the reliability of solar energy. Other firms, including Lockheed Martin and NASA, are also exploring similar concepts for sustained power in lunar environments and potential applications on Mars.